It's the NFL on EA Sports, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Jets, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 23. Take the Lincoln Tunnel through Weehawken, through Secaucus, across the Hackensack River, and you'll arrive as we have at MetLife Stadium at East Rutherford, New Jersey. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Jets. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Here's the former Cornhusker, Brett Maher, to get this one started. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. Taking it about the one. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And we get our first look at this New York Jets offense, really retooled the last couple of seasons. And at the helm under center, second overall pick from 2021 out of BYU, Zach Wilson. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. Quickly to the air is Wilson. And his first look is incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Wilson. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. So two incompletions have led him to an early third and ten. Here's Wilson to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Dak Prescott and Dallas taking the field for their first possession. Dak now in his seventh season in charge of the Cowboys. 
two-time Pro Bowler. It's been a lot of fun watching him advance in his career. Many people question his ability to throw the football coming out of Mississippi State. He's conclusively answered that question. In addition, a very strong runner and an even better leader. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. They go to Elliott again. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. And he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. That was a good run, and it got to the second level. And what I mean by that is that's where the linebackers usually play, first level being the defensive front, last level being the secondary. But the strong safety position ended up making the tackle, and oftentimes we call them a hybrid combination defensive back. And the Jets pressure too much. Absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. The Jets have Braxton Berrios back deep. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he'll have a Jets first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield. Second and the third levels, you know, get to... On first down, Wilson. Stiff-armed him. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson in trouble, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Now that was a nightmare. The front door totally... Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 37. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. 
A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Set. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. Second and ten now, Wilson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. First go. and goal at the one. Now Wilson. That's to Davis. He's got it. Touchdown, New York. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Jets are on the board first here this afternoon. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. 